allow them to be shepherds over and Lord, we bless them today in Jesus' name. We bless all the churches in these islands, Father. That, that Lord, that these Cayman Islands might be transformed and changed for the kingdom of God. Lord, you, you said that, 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 that your desire was for us to be one. So, Lord, knit our hearts together that we may be one in this process, Father. That we might see these islands transformed for the glory and honor of your name, Jesus. Lord, I, I pray today that the enemy would not swoop in and, and try to dismantle, destroy, disrupt, Lord, what you are doing right now, Lord. And Lord, we, we for so many years have claimed we're a Christian nation, but Lord, while we recognize not everyone in this nation is saved, Father God, we declare the Cayman Islands shall be saved. Amen. Amen. But Lord, that this island will be transformed by the power of the gospel. That Lord, that, that they will come from the north, the south, the east, the west, Father God. That they will be transformed as they meet you, Jesus. And that their lives, Lord, would never be the same again because they know the power of the Holy Spirit. Because they know that there is a God in heaven who loves them, who died for them. Who, who, who has allowed them to be saved and transformed. And so, Lord, today... I pray that you would give us boldness. Give us unity, yes, Father God. Yes. Give us a heart, Father, of, yes. of evangelism. Paul said to Timothy, he said, Timothy, do the work of the evangelist. Yes. So may we have that same heart and mind in us, Father yes. God, to do the work of the evangelist, yes, that these Lord. islands might be saved for Jesus Christ, Lord. Yes. And so, Lord, we, we call them yes, forth now, Lord. We pray yes, that as a church that our hearts would be ignited, yes, Father yes, God. Yes, Father. That as a church that, that we would seek you like we've never yes. sought you before. Yes. That as your church, Father God, that our hearts would be in tune, Father, yes, Lord, to what your spirit is leading and guiding us to do, Father God. Lord, we, yes, we have our beliefs, we have our traditions, we have, Father God, our way of doing things. But, Lord, none of that matters if we don't follow you. So help us to be in tune with where you're leading and guiding us, Father God, and what you're saying to this nation at this time. Because, Lord, the time is drawing near. The time is drawing close for your return. And we thank you that you said that the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. So, Lord, may we stop praying for laborers and become laborers. May we become laborers in your vineyard, Lord, that we might reap the harvest. And so, Lord, we thank you today, Father, for every man, for every woman, for every child that will come to know you, Father, as we come believing for a mighty harvest in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, may we, may we be knit together right now. Yes, in unity yes. as we move yes, from this place Holy Lord we don't just move and leave this, this place the, the way that we came in but we leave this place as the united church of God the united yes. people of God the united body of Christ yes. that we might see these islands saved in yes. Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen. Amen. Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Lord.